Joe. May I say how absolutely enchanting you look. Like, Thank really you. lovely. Thanks, and I picked a, uh, a pink mug to match my ensemble. Wow, I didn't even know we had these in pink. I'm going to take this home. You can have it, but I didn't know that... Do we have these in pink, too? Oh, I like yours better. Really? You don't want to see this in pink, though, I don't think. That's the coolest mug I've ever seen. You should get out more. They have mugs. They have mugs that are awesome. There's one that you can... No, never mind. Look, uh, it's great. Uh, does bitch mean Brazilian? I mean, B mean Brazilian or bitch? Or what does it mean? Does bitch mean Brazilian? Well, um, no. I mean, does the B mean Brazilian? No, it means bitch. It means bitch. But you can't say bitch on TV? No, you can't. I think we just opted, you know, not to. And I'm glad because I play the bitch and people on the street yell, um, hey, B, to me all the time. Oh, that's probably good. And if they were yelling, hey, bitch, I just feel like it would probably start to weigh on They me. yell that at me, too. They do? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're not nice to me? I'm quite nice to people, I yeah. think. Yeah, I try and be nice. Do you try and be nice? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think when I leave the house, I don't really leave the house much. Well, you're not nice to the people in your house? No, I'm the only one there. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> but you, that means you're not nice to yourself. That's bad. Um, Aha, see? The therapist wins again. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Five days a week. Really? No. I think everyone should go to therapy. Five days a week. Why not? I know. No, no, I don't know. I start Who to has that kind of time, though? Therapists? Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever consider it? Yeah. I'm, I, I love, you know, talking about myself. So... I can't believe... That's not going to work for you no, as an actress at all. No, Let me tell you, young lady. <laughs> yeah, but it's like an hour and a half every week, right? Where you just talk about yourself and somebody just sits there and, st and stares out the window and... Oh, no, 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 no. It's very different to that. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah, at least... Look, the dude said he was a therapist. Maybe he's not a therapist. Cause I don't know it, what you're doing. Well, you go in, they tie you up. You, that's not a... Uh, no, I, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe it's not therapy. Maybe it's a completely different thing. Did you go to college? I didn't. I was a model. You know, same thing. <laughs> no, I think that that's, that's nice. Where did, what kind of modeling did you do? I was, a, I was a fashion model when I was a teenager. That's nice. But I think it's a risky thing for a young girl to do. There are always these people telling you to be thinner and thinner and thinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They wouldn't give me money for a Metro card because um, they'd want me to walk 20 blocks to keep that's my thumbs That's awful. That, also, wait a minute. People they have like, to pay you if you're modeling. They can't say, oh, we're not paying you because we want you to be thinner by walking. <laughs> no, well... That's Illegal. But when you first get started, you don't make money, so they advance you. They give you like an allowance. Oh, every right, week. right, right. So you get two hundred dollars. You know, not even every week. You get two hundred dollars to last you. You know, the rest of your life. So <laughs> you uh, can't buy a metro card, or you know, you eat. You can't eat food. That's dreadful. I'm, I'm never going to allow any of my children to be models. No, don't. Yeah, no, I it's won't. It's not glamorous. No, it's not. Glamorous. I mean, I think when you have success, like you know, famous models, they're they're fine, but. Really? When you're just a scrappy model. Like, just like a kind of, like, street model? Yeah, when you're yeah. a street model. That's what I want. Like, you're not, like, no, well, that sounds bad, though, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not yeah, what no, I no, no, I wasn't no. a street hey. model at all. Do you know, the, yeah, uh, no, I, I didn't think you were. The, uh, do you know what I, show I loved you in was the Breaking Bad show? That's fantastic. You, you were so great in that show when you played that junkie girl. I thought, I think she's a junkie for real. <laughs> Are you? No. Okay, yeah. No. I just thought you might have been doing it to, you know, keep thin. But no, that's... Uh... <laughs> um, no. I went to heroin school. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> oh. That's sad. A little bit. I, well, I did, I did a, a little bit of... You know, I was an exchange student in heroin school, but I actually went to cocaine academy. <laughs> Not a long time. It was the 80s. Every idiot was doing it in the 80s. It's a little better now, I think. Yeah, now nobody... If you do stuff like that, you're, you get sent home. Without a metro card, you have to walk. <laughs> you have to. You're on cocaine. Walk, walk home and don't eat anything on the way either. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, so anyway, the B in apartment 23. How's ABC treating you? I worked there once. Yeah. Yeah, I did the Drew Carey show there. They used to make him not walk home in order to keep him fat. Oh, oh no. They tried to feed him up all the time. No, that's not true. It, look, look at the evidence. Drew Carey's my friend. He's, we've been friends for a long time. When he did the Drew Carey show on ABC, he was fat. He does The Price is Right on CBS. He's thin. Why? Uh, corruption. You think the network was keeping him fat? The network desperately wanted to keep him fat. They were sneaking sausages into his room. <laughs> True. No, ABC is very, very good to us. You know, I'm well, just so happy to have a job. Different regime, different regime. Totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back then, they were run by um, pirates. Pirates. <laughs> yes.
They were. Now, of course, it's Disney and ABC together. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on a show with, you know, a bitch. You know, Disney. The, well, <laughs> no, no. I've, I've worked for Disney. They'd be very nice to me over the years. I, I'm so happy to have a job that I get to go to every day. Really, do, you, do you feel that? Oh, but, yes. Really? That's refreshing. I feel that, too, sometimes. If I'm not working, I won't leave my house. You, why are you... A, I'm such a shut-in. Really? I'm, like, going to be in there, like, peeing in mason jars and having long fingernails. I'm such a recluse. <laughs> On the contrary, you sound more and more attractive <laughs> with every passing cent. I know, I'm disgusting. No, if I have a job, it gets me it gets me out of the house. Do you have trouble getting motivated? No, I'm motivated. I just have, like, anxiety and panic attacks. You should probably try some yoga. Uh, I do yoga. Yeah, really? How yeah. did that work out? Yeah, yeah. I kundalini? Love yoga. Do you do the kundalini yoga? I do ashtanga. Ashtanga. Yeah. Yes, that's a kind of. That's the, like the kickboxing. Yeah, that's the kind of power yoga thing. That's how I get ripped. Indeed. <laughs> oh, the, uh, I'm not ripped at all. <laughs> no, the, uh, you don't want to be ripped. No. You, don't, you no. don't want the pythons. Yeah, I don't think guys don't like that. No, well, guys some like guys, some guys like soft. it. I don't want to judge. Some guys like okay. it, but the guys, heterosexual guys don't like it on women. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> To be, in order to look like that, like, you have to be pretty self-involved. Yeah, well, yeah. It takes a lot. It's all day, you just yourself. Yeah, yourself. and you can't do that. Um, no, I don't. I don't like. No, I. Well, I what, what engages you then? What makes you feel enthusiastic other than work, which you I, admit? I love that, working. Right, I get that. But other than that, what fills you with passion? You must find something else. I like to go bowling. I like. To That's play the pool. kind of thing I was after. <laughs> I, um, I like to play with my little dog. Um, what kind of dog do you have? A little uh, terrier chihuahua named Mikey Mohawk. He's very famous. What do you mean he's very famous? He's been on my TV show, and he was featured on a segment on Entertainment Tonight, and he was in oh. InStyle magazine. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Apart from being on your show, I've done all those things, and I'm not very famous, so I don't understand <laughs> how come your dog can be famous just for doing that. Why was he in InStyle magazine anyway? It was like this, like, you know, actors in their in Actors their dogs. and their small dogs? Yeah. That must have been yeah. hard to get a I'm bunch a of them together. <laughs> I know, I'm a walking cliche. No, you're not, actually, not at all. You're very interesting and you have trouble about being engaged <laughs> and thinking about yourself a lot. Uh, you, are, you are very different to a lot of the young ladies that do the same job as you. And you're very good at it. But you handle compliments very badly. Hmm. I do? <laughs> I handle compliments badly? I've never heard that before. Well, uh, maybe you don't. What else? You're very pretty. What else? You handle compliments better than I thought you did. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, we're out of time. Oh, we are? Mm. Okay. I'm looking really for a fun. new thing to end interviews with, and I don't know what to do, really. I was giving out coconuts for a while, but I'm so over it. So, uh, unless, unless you love coconuts. Do you love I do love coconuts. Oh, well, I'll give you a coconut then. I've got a, a giant... Can you hack off the top for me, too, and put what? a little straw in it? Oh, God, yeah, sure. I'll go around and clean your apartment as well. Come on. <laughs> Here, now we got a nice, uh, well, selection of coconuts. Um, which would you... Uh... The big one. <sighs> Now you're a walking cliche. Look, what about a big one and a small one next to it? <laughs> They're lopsided, perfect. Yeah, no, the nature does it that way, you know. Yeah, no, I know. No, really, uh, about testicles. Did you know that? Okay. No, that's true. I, there was a doctor on here. What was what the doctor was? Doctor, uh, doctor Oz or something. Was, I think it was Doctor Oz actually, and he said that nature designs male testicles to be like this because if they were like this, they would oh. clack into each other, <laughs> and they would make that sound. <laughs> So, for example, when a man found you attractive, you would hear this. <laughs> and then flirting would be a thing of the past. I'm going to check. Next, next, next man I see down there, I'm going to check. <laughs> Don't check, just listen. <laughs> just listen. Yeah. They do say on a dark night you can still hear. <laughs> so, do you want me to open your coconut? Thanks. Okay. That'd be uh, <laughs> this big one? All right, better move the dress out of the way then. That's oh my the, God, what do you, dress. I don't know. This is probably not a good idea. You need like a machete. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you sure? All right. I'm, I'm scared. Say, you want to get over there? Get over there. I'm going to smash this coconut. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh yeah, you know what? See all this this bad boy thing that I do here? It's not Crikey. a smack, baby. All right. <laughs> That's right. You can't say that on network TV. Doesn't matter. I said it. Doesn't matter. I said it. <laughs> and now I'm going to open your coconut. Okay, I'm scared.
beautiful woman. I know you're disappointed, but we'll get through this together. She's a lovely and talented actress and a good friend of the show, the beautiful Kristen Ritter, everybody. Kristen Ritter. <laughs> Sensational tonight. I mean, really, you must be going somewhere later. Um, no, I don't have any plans. My life is kind of depressing and boring right now. This really? is the big. This is the big event for me today. If this is the big event in your life, you really have to get out more. I'm trying. I'm trying. Really? But I mean, what's going on? Breaking Bad's finished. Do you watch it? Yeah, of course. Well, you died in it, though. That, I know. that was a couple of seasons ago. I know. It's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen that by now, then yeah, then you problems. weren't really. But the thing is, do do you watch it still? I even do. Though you're dead in it. You know, I think at first it was kind of weird to watch it, knowing how the sausage is made. So they say. Oh. Do they say that? I don't know if they. Well, say they that. no. I like the way you're talking, though. <laughs> that feels kind of sexy. But um, yeah. Also, you said sausage. <laughs> Um, yeah, I watch it just like everybody else. Right. I'm like the biggest Breaking Bad fan there is. It's fantastic. What about Crystal Meth? Do you enjoy Crystal Meth? I love Crystal Meth. Mm. Keeps you thin. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed by Crystal in no way are uh, backed up by the CBS organization. No, no, no. I'm kidding. That's uh, a yeah. joke. Yeah, it's, of course it's a it's joke. It's comedy, people. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. So what's been going on then? You're dead in the show. Did you have you been off anywhere? Have you been doing anything? You know, I um I uh, have been hanging out a little bit this summer. Where in America or France? Yeah, here. And I've been in now. I've been doing a Tim Burton movie shooting in Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. In Tim out. Burton. Yeah, my sausages. <laughs> I love Tim Burton. Tim Burton movies are so fantastic. I'm a huge fan of Tim Burton from all the way back. I all the way me back. Me too. I yeah. wanted to work with yeah. him. Yeah. He has never been here. But his, his, uh, I can't imagine that he would enjoy talk shows. No, I don't think he's a talk show man. He's more kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> you know what? So am I, but I suck it up. I'm No, here. you're great at it. You're perky. Are you kidding? I'm so nervous right now. I'm, like, sweating. Are you I'm kidding me? You're not up. nervous. Why would you be nervous? thought I was going to lose my shoe. No, really? These crazy shoes. They're very good, actually. You know what? They make me seven feet tall. I'm going to rethink them next time. No, I like it. I think a tall woman's really good. Well, you're in the minority. I feel like these are kryptonite for boys. Because well, I'm what, already 5'9". Well, what kind of boys are you looking for? You like, know. really short ones? No. What? Just some cute ones with bottomless bank accounts. <laughs> <laughs> well... Why? What do you need to buy? I could probably buy you some stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. You know, shoes, more shoes, flat shoes. I'd give these back. Really? Nah, they look Barley. great. I think you're being very hard on yourself. But you know what? Actresses do that all the time. Oh, I, I, I hate myself. But you don't really, right? <laughs> I love me some me. No, come on. <laughs> it's all right. So what, did you enjoy Canada? Uh, yeah. yeah, I've been enjoying the heat wave. I'm the only person in all of L.A. <laughs> You, you liked the heat wave that we had in the summer, yes. of course. Yes. <laughs> You're still talking about that, even though no, now it's November. Because, yeah. Because it marked the time. I'm an East Coast girl, so. Really? Which part of the East Coast are you from? I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I've been there. Really? Yeah. Where? Uh, many parts. <laughs> It's a pretty big place. Yeah, it's fairly like you, when you're driving across America, you think you're going to get out of it, and then it's just like still just there. Keeps yeah, on going. yeah. What part are you from? You know, like the Appalachian Mountains. I love it there. Yeah. That's where I had that thing. What thing? S food. They make that special food there. Uh, shoe fly pie? Yes. That is not. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> you trapped me. Scrapple. Scrapple? Those are some weird things that we have in Pennsylvania. Scrapple, I think I have had. What's yeah. that made of again? Um, like the extra bits, I think. Like haggis. I don't know what that is. Haggis? Haggis is kind of like the scrapple of Scotland. You get a, you get a sheep and you uh, brutally murder it. And then <laughs> anything that's left over, that you eat. That's yeah. exactly what Scrapple is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of like crisp it on the sides. Got to crisp it. It's kind of yummy. Yeah. You're not a vegetarian yet? How long have you been in L.A.? You know, I'm kind of, um... Uh, I don't eat a lot of meat. Right, right, right. 
uh, I kind of, I'm like 90% of the time I eat pretty healthy. I mean, I'm ripped. I'm in good shape. Yeah, yeah, no, I can see that. But, but uh, um, yeah, I'm not a big meat eater. Do you eat meat? <laughs> All the time. Really? Yeah. No, not so much. Actually, I can't no. anymore. I'm too much of a geezer now. I can't do it. Yeah. If I eat meat now, it's like... You digest it like four days yeah, later. Yeah, like you can see the shape of it in my stomach and everything. <laughs> I have to like lie down for a while. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. I just learned how to cook kale, so you know I'm in LA now. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what kale is, but I hate it. Uh, it's not so bad. You what can is make it, it in the. I, I learned how to make uh, crispy kale, which is basically like kale chips. Oh, right. Whatever. Okay. You put it in the oven at 300 for 25 minutes, and that is it. And you should done. do a daytime TV show. It'd be awesome. I feel like I might be good at that. You'd be great at it. And and because mm -hmm. of the way you're kind of like sexy and kind of Tim Burton-y yourself, yeah. it could be a kind of <laughs> it could be a kind of like weird kind of out there daytime TV show for people that don't ever open the blinds. That's like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we just go. It's daytime, so everybody stay inside. It'd be great. With the blinds closed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a kind of Beetlejuice daytime. That's like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Lydia Dietz all grown up. Oh, I'm sure you're not that crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I do love that movie, though. Me too. I, I, Obsessed. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter was here. Was she? Yes, yes. I've never met her. She's heaven, I'm Crazier sure. Crazier than a bag of snakes. Amazing. Uh, uh, but, you know, hugely talented, obviously, and very, very mad. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, I like a woman who are a bit crazy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What are you looking for in a man? Do you like a crazy man? Or do you like someone just kind of like sedate? No, not sedate. I like to have a good time. I like to be fed and watered and shown a good time. You sound and... like a hamster. No, no. I'm like, a, I'm like an exotic plant. Oh, um, no. Hard to keep alive. I don't know what that <laughs> means. Oh, God. I would like someone very, very handsome and tall so I can wear high heels. Not this high, but very handsome. Yeah, I think you should wear that high. And you should be allowed to have anyone as handsome and as tall as you like. Uh, well, let's yeah, see. Yeah, what about um, that? Yeah, who do you, who do you got? Let's uh, what about that, sw that, that kid that swims? What kid that swims? Yeah, what's his name? Yeah, Michael Phelps. He's about six foot seven. I don't know who that is. He's, the, he's like one set. Well, it's I'm sorry, it off. I get my judgmental. news. Tootsie Fruits. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, uh, Michael Phelps, he's, he won seven gold medals. He's an athlete. Okay. And, but he goes outside a lot during the day. Okay. I can go outside. Really? Uh, yeah. Don't you want someone tall who stays inside, maybe sleeps in a coffin? No, I don't want uh, anyone to sleep in a coffin. Maybe a little bit more gonna work. Hmm, no, I like this idea. Who else you got? Let's, let's go. Um, okay, then, uh, someone very tall. What about... Um, and very handsome and funny. Conan O'Brien. <laughs> He's married. He's married, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um. Funny is good. Funny doesn't get old. All right, then, uh, Louis Anderson. Uh, I don't know who that is either. Louis, Louis, uh, actually, maybe you're not for him. Uh, I mean, I'm young, so... Right, right. I, I don't know any young people. I'm old. I just chase young people off my lawn, for <laughs> sake. I, I, don't, I don't know any young people anymore. It's my kids. And you can't have them. They're mine. Okay. They're boys, though. Let's see a picture. And they're tall. Watch out. Yeah. Lots well, the oldest them. one's 12, though. Okay, that's, that's too young. <laughs> That is too young. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little young. He's awesome, though. He's cool, you'd like him. <laughs> uh, well, we're out of time. Okay, mm. that was fun. Kind of, right? Thanks for having me back. Kind of. I mean, that's the thing. I love it when you're here, because it's just like, oh, chitty chat chat. Yeah. No, I had a good time. Crazier than a bag of snakes. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But that being said, Yes. I love that's that a... mug. Well, I can, can get... Can I take it home? Yes. Thank you. I love getting free stuff. Well, you can't have this actual one, because this is, this is the one with the gold tooth. Got it. Okay. But you can have... We have replicas backstage. Okay, great. Um, which you can have. Who do I talk to on the way out? Just... Oh, um, the tall, funny guy. Okay. And the, uh... <laughs> That's it. But come back soon. Okay, thank I you. I adore you. Thank you. Let's go somewhere. Okay. Like, we, we, where, where do you want to take the show? Uh, Iceland. Iceland. Do you want to come Iceland. to Iceland? Yeah. So Iceland is green, and Greenland is icy, That's right? kind of a, yeah, that's a made-up thing. Oh, it's a made-up thing. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those things like, you know, evolution. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whose side are you on, Greg? You know fine well.
No, I uh, you know it's a it's kind of a myth the uh, the thing because Iceland is it a myth? You've been there. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, he's not even listening. Um, <laughs> No, we should go to Iceland. We should okay. take the show to Iceland, and then what I like to do when I take the show around places is take a beautiful girl with me and walk around graveyards. <laughs> Mila Kunis in Glasgow walked around a graveyard with me. Nikki Reed in New Orleans, we walked around a graveyard. Any other graveyards we've done? No, so we'll do the graveyards of Iceland. How about that? I think I'm busy. <laughs> but I'll get back to you. Why? I thought well, Iceland must be full of tall, funny guys who are hilarious and tall. <laughs> no? I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good on going to the graveyards. That just don't, sounds like statistically I'm going to my death. Right? No. Just walking around. No, no, around no, no. It's reflective. It makes you reflective. It's quiet. You, you th talk about, you know, big things. Like what? Death. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to talk about that? Um, we can. I mean, I, you know, fine. Let's talk about death. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Listen, you probably thought asking for the cup this evening was some kind of show business joke. <laughs> some kind of ah, ha, 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 moment in a late night talk show. Yes. Well, you were wrong. <laughs> Whomsoever takes this cup from the inside of this not a real horse <laughs> shall be my queen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. about this outfit, I'm yeah, not gonna I, lie. I kinda get that from you. Why are you insecure about it? It looks great. You don't think I look like a slutty tennis player? No! <laughs> First of all, yeah, it's, it's kinda like it got a Greek-looking motif here. That's great. Even that, better. That's great! And, and you, 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 no, you look fantastic. You look winsome and intelligent. Thank you. And beautiful. Thank you. And you smell great. Do I really? Yes, you do. That's you just me. I don't wear anything. Wow. I don't wear a perfume, deodorant, nothing. That's just you like your natural it's musk. Just my natural musk. <laughs> well, well, you should bottle it. Okay. <laughs> you know. Hey, in that in about. the in the movie there, yeah. uh, Jason Schwartzman was there, right? He's so funny. He's lovely, and he's here often. He's, he's here, here tomorrow. Oh well, then then you then I know. And <laughs> but the other older gentleman, that is Jonathan Price there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'm a big he fan. He plays of my dad. Yeah, he's so. he's very uh, very good, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of good actors in that movie. I yeah, yeah, and you're one of them. Well done. Yeah. And your outfit's great, and you smell fantastic. Thank you. Feel a little better. Yeah, thank you. I yeah, no, it's although a... I didn't get to pick my mug this time. Well, why not? This mug is just here. They just gave you, you the just gray didn't mug. Let me pick a color. Oh well, we're running low. Can I keep this? We don't want it. We don't. Yeah, you, we can't get any more made. We've run out of money. I know. I'm so bummed. Yeah, don't worry this about it. This will be my last time coming on your show. Aww. You're my favorite one to do. You know why? <laughs> last time I was here. Yes. You gave me this. This I gave you a snake mug. mug. Yeah, I gave and you... I have it. Yeah, good. And the time before that, you gave me a coconut. I see. So you want a gift? I would like a gift. I'm really into free I, stuff. I have something for you. What do you have? A rusty trombone. <laughs> okay. You have a lot of stuff over here. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks. See, it works. Give me the word. All you have to do is ask. Kind of a yard sale. Where should, but, I, where should I put this? What? Well, you, you can't, uh, no, you can't. I mean, I'll... not with the outfit. I don't No, think... no, you don't want to, you don't want to blow a rusty trombone like wearing that. Yeah. <laughs>
How are you anyway? Good? Yeah, I'm mm. good. I cut my hair off. Oh, no, you haven't. It looks fine. It was... <laughs> it was much longer. Yeah, it was longer, but, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Is ladies' hair's long, hair short. Yeah, you know. I did it myself, though. I should... Wah! I, I, I had it professionally done, and then I cut it more. I can't be left home alone with scissors. Well... <laughs> Don't you have a friend to be in your house with you to take the scissors away? I live by myself. You live by yourself? Me and my dog. What kind of a dog? A terrier chihuahua. You live course. by yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause that a terrier chihuahua is the dog version of a cat. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yes, I know about dogs. Uh, he's very sturdy. Yeah, so are and a lot of cats. He's scrappy. He's not like a cat at all. Mm -hmm. He does tricks. Cats Does he sleep don't on do your tricks. bed? Does he sleep on your bed? Yes, he sleeps in my bed. Of course he sleeps in, his, in, my, in my bed. Does your dog sleep in your bed? No way. Why? First of all, I got three, and one of them is a German Shepherd. Okay, well, yeah. if he fit in your bed, would he sleep in your bed? Yes. See? <laughs> but he's too hairy and smelly. I know. My dog smells real bad. Yeah, we used to try having a French bulldog. I have another one of those. Why? What's, why? They smell very bad. Why? What's, what about I don't know a why bulldog? they smell so bad. I think it's something to do with their bottoms. Oh, God. Because, well, you have to get those things expressed. Do you know what I mean? Those things. I think it's something to do with their bottoms. Oh, my God. Yeah, anyway. All right. So, you're good? I'm good. Is the movie good? Yeah, the movie's good. Okay, that's good, because you got good actors there. Yeah, we got good yeah, actors. That's the top-notch actors going on. What happens in the movie? Um, it's about, like, this kind of jerk artist, author guy who walks around, um, being mean to everybody. But it's I really I can't funny. wait. Yeah. It comes out this weekend. Right. Um. That's good. Did you have a yeah. premiere? Uh, the premiere was last week in New York, and I, I missed it. You missed it because you're a little bit of a shut-in. I was shut-in. Yeah, I know. I have actually been leaving the house a little bit more lately. Have you? Yeah. Good. What have you been doing? I've been getting up early and going to yoga. Um, I've been going out for lunch. Um, nice. That's, this is all progress. Work stuff I've been leaving the house This is for. good. I'm very excited about this. This is great. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so you're going out. You're going for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing anyone uh, romantically? I am. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that's good. So you're going out with your friend for yeah. lunch. Yeah, my friend for lunch. And does your friend go to yoga with you too? Sometimes. Ooh, that's nice. Is it hot yoga? Uh, no, I don't, I'm not really into the hot yoga because I like to uh, create my own heat. Slower. <laughs> do you do yoga? I do actually, yeah. Yeah. yeah I've I heard do. that you have you've become vegan. I have, sorta. I How's had a steak at the weekend. Oh you're steak at the weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, like how you yeah feel? I do. Yeah, I do like it. I, I feel good actually. Do you have or do you cook or do you have somebody cooking for you? Well, that makes it a little easier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't cook. But I, do, I wouldn't go as far as to say I have someone cooking for me. You go to restaurants. I'm, I am live in a house with my wife, okay. and she <laughs> cooks, but only because she wants to. Oh, not got because... it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So your wife is doing it as well. You're doing the vegan thing. Yeah, she doesn't do so much. You know, she kind of, like, eats a little bit of, uh, you know... She eats milky a little bit things. Of well, she's from a dairy farm. It's very tricky to. I'm know. from a farm too. Really? Yeah. What kind of things did you farm in your farm? It was cattle. It wasn't right. a dairy farm. No lambs. Do you hear the lambs, Clarice? Like none of that? No, we didn't have any lambs. Mm. Nothing creepy like that. So just what beef? Yeah, beef and chicken. Well, this sounds like a tasty farm. And and, <laughs> and dogs and cats. No, I wouldn't eat those. No, we didn't. Nah. And vegetables. We you know not really vegetables. We just had corn and onions. Well, that's... But I like onions, so... Really? Even before yoga? Yeah, all the time. My mom used to find me in the closet eating them like apples. Would... I can eat raw onions, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I eat raw onions. Do you hide in closets and eat them? Not anymore. That's weird. <laughs> no, is closet that a, days What kind of pipe is this? Is this a vapor? It's, uh, it's my pipe when I'm it's pretending just a, to be a therapist. It's just a prop. Yeah. It doesn't sort actually... Of. It doesn't have crack in it, doesn't no. Have crack. Uh, do you smoke the crack? I don't smoke crack. Okay, it's that. Perfectly decent question. We're in Hollywood, you know. Uh, no, I don't smoke the crack. Oh, okay, just wondered. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. <laughs> Kristen Ritter, everybody, we'll be right back. Did I? <laughs> oh.
That's sad. A little bit. I, well, I did, I did a, a little bit of, you know, I was an exchange student in heroin school, but I actually went to Cocaine Academy. <laughs> It's a long time. It was the 80s. Every idiot was doing it in the 80s. It's a little better now, I think. Yeah, now nobody, if you do stuff like that, you're, you get sent home. But without a metro card, you have to walk. <laughs> you have to, you're on cocaine, walk, walk home, and don't eat anything on the way either. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, so anyway, the bee in apartment 23, how's ABC treating you? I worked there once. Yeah? Yeah, I did the Drew Carey show there. They used to make him not walk home in order to keep him fat. <laughs> They tried to feed him up all the time. No, that's not true. It, look, look at the evidence. Drew Carey's my friend. We've been friends for a long time. When he did the Drew Carey show on ABC, he was fat. He does The Price is Right on CBS, he's thin. Why? Uh, corruption. You think the network was keeping him fat? The network desperately wanted to keep him fat. They were sneaking sausages into his room. <laughs> No, ABC is very, very good to us. You know, I'm well, just so happy to have a job. Different regime, different regime. Totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back then, they were run by um, pirates. Pirates. <laughs> yes, they were. Now, of course, it's Disney and ABC together. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on a show with, you know, a bitch. You know, Disney. The, well, <laughs> no, no. I've, I've worked for Disney. They'd be very nice to me over the years. I, I'm so happy to have a job that I get to go to every day. Really, do, you, do you feel that? Oh, but, yes. Really? That's refreshing. I feel that, too, sometimes. If I'm not working, I won't leave my house. You, why? Are you? A, I'm such a shut-in. Really? I'm, like, going to be in there, like, peeing in mason jars and having long fingernails. I'm such a recluse. <laughs> On the contrary, you sound more and more attractive <laughs> with every passing scent. I know. I'm disgusting. No, if I have a job, it gets me, it gets me out of the house. Do you have trouble getting motivated? No, I'm motivated. I just have like anxiety and panic attacks. You should probably try some yoga. Uh, I do yoga. Yeah, really? How yeah. does that work? Yeah, out yeah. yeah. Kundalini? I love yoga. Do you do the Kundalini yoga? I do Ashtanga. Ashtanga. Yeah. Yes, that's a kind of. That's the, like the kickboxing. Yeah, that's the kind of power yoga thing. Oh, it's so. I can't believe that's not going to work for you no. as an actress at all. No, Let me tell you, young lady. <laughs> yeah, but it's like an hour and a half every week, right? Where you just talk about yourself and somebody just sits there and, st and stares out the window. And... Oh, no, 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 no. It's very different to that. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah, at least. Look, the dude said he was a therapist. Maybe he's not a therapist. Cause I don't know it, what you're doing. Well, you go in, they tie you up. You, that's not a... Uh, no, I, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe it's not therapy. Maybe it's a completely different thing. Did you go to college? I didn't. I was a model. You know, same thing. <laughs> no, I think that that's, that's nice. Where did, what kind of modeling did you do? I was, a, I was a fashion model when I was a teenager. That's nice. But I think it's a risky thing for a young girl to do. There are always these people telling you to be thinner and thinner and thinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They wouldn't give me money for a Metro card because um, they'd want me to walk 20 blocks to keep that's my thumb. That's awful. That, also, wait a minute. People they have like, to pay you if you're modeling. They can't say, oh, we're not paying you because we want you to be thinner by walking. <laughs> no, well. That's a Legal. But when you first get started, you don't make money, so they advance you. They give you like an allowance. Oh, every right, week. right, right. So you get two hundred dollars. You know, not even every week. You get two hundred dollars to last you. You know, the rest of your life. So <laughs> you uh, can't buy a metro card, or you know, you eat. You can't eat food. That's dreadful. I'm, I'm never going to allow any of my children to be models. No, don't. Yeah, no, I it's won't. It's not glamorous. No, it's not. Glamorous. I mean, I think when you have success, like you know, famous models, they're they're fine, but. Really? When you're just a scrappy model. Like, just like a kind of, like, street model? Yeah, when you're yeah. a street model. That's what I want. Like, you're not, like, no, well, that sounds bad, though, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not yeah, what no, I no, no, I wasn't no. a street hey. model at all. Do you know the, yeah, uh, no, I, I didn't think you were. The, uh, do you know what I, show I loved you in was the Breaking Bad show? That's fantastic. You, you were so great in that show when you played that junkie girl. I thought, I think she's a junkie for real. <laughs> Are you? No. Okay, yeah. No. I just thought you might have been doing it to, you know, keep thin. But no, that's... A... <laughs> um, no, I went to heroin school. So, well, a selection of coconuts, um, which would you... Uh... The big one. <sighs> now you're a walking cliche. Look, what about a big one and a small one next to it? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, no, the nature does it that way, you know. Yeah, no, I know. No, really, uh, about testicles. Did you know that? Okay. No, that's true. I, there was a doctor on here. What was your doctor was? Doctor, uh, doctor Oz or something. Was, I think it was Doctor Oz actually, and he said that nature designs male testicles to be like this, because if they were like this, they would oh. clack into each other, <laughs> and they would make that sound. Huh. So, for example, when a man found you attractive, you would hear this. And then flirting would be a thing of the past. I'm going to check. Next, next, next man I see down there, I'm going to check. 
<laughs> Don't check, just listen. <laughs> just listen. <laughs> they do say on a dark night you can still hear. So, do you want me to open your coconut? Thanks. Okay. That'd be uh, <laughs> this big one? All right, better move the dress out of the way then. Oh my God, what do you, dress. I don't know, this is probably not a good idea. You need like a machete. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm going to sit. You want to get over there? Get over there. I'm going to smash this coconut. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh yeah, you know what? See all this this bad boy thing that I do here? It's not Crikey. a snack, baby, all right? <laughs> That's right. You can't say that on network TV. Doesn't matter. I said it. Doesn't matter. I said it. <laughs> and now I'm going to open your coconut. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, the, uh, no, not ripped at all. No, the, uh, you don't want to be ripped. No, You don't no. want the pythons. Yeah, I don't think guys don't like that. No, guys well, some like guys it some guys like soft. it. I don't want to judge. Some guys like okay. it, but the guys, heterosexual guys don't like it on women. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think you have to be, in order to look like that, like, you have to be pretty self-involved. Yeah. Well, you it takes a lot. It's all day, you just yourself. Yeah, yourself. and you can't do that? Um, no, I don't, I don't like, no. I, well, I what, what engages you then? What makes you feel enthusiastic other than work? Which you I, I admit, love working. Right, I get that. But other than that, what fills you with passion? You must find something else. I like to go bowling. I like to That's play the pool. kind of thing I was after. <laughs> I, um, I like to play with my little dog. Um, what kind of dog do you have? A little uh, terrier chihuahua named Mikey Mohawk. He's very famous. What do you mean he's very famous? He's been on my TV show, and he was featured on a segment on Entertainment Tonight, and he was in oh. InStyle magazine. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Apart from being on your show, I've done all those things, and I'm not very famous, so I don't understand <laughs> how come your dog can be famous just for doing that. Why was he in InStyle magazine anyway? It was like this, like, you know, actors in their in Actors their dogs. and their small dogs? Yeah. That must have been yeah. hard to get a I'm bunch a of them together. <laughs> I know, I'm a walking cliche. No, you're not, actually, not at all. You're very interesting and you have trouble about being engaged <laughs> and thinking about yourself a lot. Uh, you, are, you are very different to a lot of the young ladies that do the same job as you. And you're very good at it. But you handle compliments very badly. Hmm. I do? <laughs> I handle compliments badly? I've never heard that before. Well, uh, maybe you don't. What else? You're very pretty. What else? You handle compliments better than I thought you did. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, we're out of time. Oh, we are? Mm. Okay. I'm that looking really for a fun. new thing to end interviews with, and I don't know what to do, really. I was giving out coconuts for a while, but I'm so over it. So, uh, unless, unless you love coconuts. Do you love I do love coconuts. Oh, well, I'll give you a coconut, then. I've got a, a giant... Can you hack off the top for me, too, and put what? a little straw in it? Oh, God, yeah, sure. I'll go around and clean your apartment as well. Come on. <laughs> Here, now we got a nice... I... How absolutely enchanting you look! Like Thank really you. lovely. Thanks, and I picked a, uh, a pink mug to match my ensemble. Wow! I didn't even know we had these in pink. I'm gonna take this home. You can have it, but I didn't know that. Do we have these in pink too? Oh, I like yours better. Really? You don't want to see this in pink, though. I don't think. That's the coolest mug I've ever seen. You should get out more. They have mugs. They have mugs that are awesome. There's one that you can. No, never mind. Look, uh, it's great. Uh, does bitch mean Brazilian? I mean, B mean Brazilian or bitch? Or what does it mean? Does bitch mean Brazilian? Well, um, no. I mean, does the B mean Brazilian? No, it means bitch. It means bitch. But you can't say bitch on TV? No, you can't. I think we just opted, you know, not to. And I'm glad because I play the bitch and people on the street yell, um, hey, B, to me all the time. Oh, that's probably good. And if they were yelling, hey, bitch, I just feel like <laughs> it would probably start to weigh on They me. yell that at me, too. They do? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're not nice to people? 
I'm quite nice to people, I yeah. think. Yeah, I try and be nice. Do you try and be nice? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think when I leave the house, I don't really leave the house much. Well, you're not nice to the people in your house? No, I'm the only one there. Oh, well, that's all right. Then. But you, that means you're not nice to yourself. That's bad. Uh -huh. Aha, see? The therapist wins again. <laughs> Are you in therapy? Five days a week. Really? No. I think everyone should go to therapy. Five days a week. Why not? I know. You know, I don't know. I started. Who has that kind of time, though? Therapists. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever consider it? Yeah, I'm, I, I love you know talking about myself.